Last update, the 5th of August 2018 Began Datuk, May 8th Bernama, Deputy Prime Minister Datuk Seri Dr. Ahmad Zahid Hamidi advised Barisa Nasional PN, hardcore supporters advised to cast their ballots early in the 14th general election, GE14, tomorrow to facilitate moves to attract great voters. Ahmad Zahid, who is also BN Deputy Chairman, said these white voters need to discharge their voting right the latest by noon so that they would be able to facilitate the BN machinery. I want the supporters of component parties to be out to cast votes early. In the afternoon, we are looking for bonus, great voters, and fence sitters. All of us go out to vote and don't forget to bring identity cards, he said in his speech with members of the Begin Datuk Malaysian Indian Justice Party, MIJP, division here today. Ahmad Sahid, the incumbent for the Begin Datuk parliamentary seat which he has held for five terms, also said that BN has always respected the BN friendly party. He also added that Begin Datuk was the only parliamentary constituency that has a special BN manifesto for the Indian and Chinese communities, launched on April 28. The BN manifesto for the Indian community offers 17 promises in the efforts to improve the well-being of the Indians in the constituency including providing assistance for repair works on the temple buildings as well as the upgrading of national-type Tamil schools in this area. Meanwhile, the manifesto for the Chinese community outlines eight promises, among them, were to facilitate the issue faced by the Chinese fishermen, increase ownership of affordable houses as well as to repair drainage systems in the new villages. The Bigan Datuk parliamentary constituency has two state seats, namely, Rungkup and Hutan Malintang with a total of 47,309 voters. Later, Ahmad Zahid attended another dinner with the Chinese community of Bagan Datuk and Hutan Malintang at the Xi'an Fei Shigong Temple Hall here tonight. About 500 members of the Chinese community, who are also voters in the constituency, attended the event that also saw the presence of the BN candidate for the Hutan Malintang state seat Datuk Karadan Tarmizi. In his speech, Ahmad Zahid urged the Chinese community in Hutan Malintang to support Keratin and translate it in the ballot boxes tomorrow. I ask all the voters in Hutan Malintang to support Keratin. If we win we must have a Kandori feast. Please do help me even though Keratin will be the one who is doing the work here. I want everyone to turn up and vote for BN because we want to seize the Hutan Malintang state seat, from the opposition, he said. The Hutan Malintang state constituency has been in opposition hands since the 2008 general election, Bernama previous top story.